Welcome to the Throga channel. I just realized I'm always the one that says welcome. Well, you push the button. It just makes sense. Because oh, you don't know when I you press know. it. It would be awkward. Let's try it. Okay. Welcome. Oh, I, did, I didn't press it yet. <laughs> oh, I see the problem. I see the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to day four of our seven songs and seven days of BTS. Today is our dear friend. We don't really know him. Pretty sure he doesn't know us. Suga, a.k.a. Augusti, singing a song called Dear My Friend. See what oh. I did there? It's everything. We want to be friends with Sugar. Connected. Yes, we do. So I'm excited to hear it. I have no more information other than. Oh, this was released 10 months ago. This is relatively recent, unless. Oh. Unless it was recorded, released, and now re. <laughs> Let us know in the comments <laughs> when this was released. Sugar, sugar, maybe, do, 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 maybe do, do, we probably do. should have had uh, but I get to, uh, with us on this one. Uh, we should have her at all times. Yes, probably, we probably yeah. should. But before we do, I'm going to pitch this first. Um, please <laughs> buy us a coffee <laughs> using the link below in the description to help support this fantastic smooth running show. And or maybe we can hire a production manager so it actually does become smooth. Oh, yeah. And throw dot com for your online vocal needs. And usually I do my line before that. So I know, I know. It's all off. I don't it's... even know if I can say this. Please hit like and subscribe and ring the bell so you always know what we're up to at all times, everyone. All right, let's... Uh, let's do it. Let's have save our dear, us, sugar. Let's, I was going to say, let's have our dear friend save the show right now. Dear my friend, here we go. Yeah. Oh, good, it's live. Is that a guitar in hand? He's so cool. It's the final day of the... I just realized you probably can't see that in the lower left hand corner. So this is August 2023, so this is a year ago. Um, Augusti tour D-Day, the final. So that's what we're watching. So we have our answer. Okay. Yeah, it's a different vibe a little bit and part of it is just visually it's like i'm just not used to seeing him stand up with with the guitar in hand so it's like kind of a different scene is set I up like it. and he's playing accent things right so it feels like is is this you can fill us in is this cut from 
a couple different concerts. There's just some I wasn't camera sure angles. because sometimes he's playing the guitar, then he's like his hand will be up. Yeah, there. I was like, wait, I, I was... something magical happened. <laughs> oh, this, he's wearing a different shirt as well, I think. Oh, this well, one. hold on. Well, that makes it even more obvious, is it? I'm going. Yeah, because one has got the collar. Yep, and then the other uh, one's just a t-shirt. And, okay. And yes. Okay. So it's more obvious. <laughs> okay, it's definitely cut. Because so yep. this is a live mix from I'm guessing from the final night based on that little information in the lower left hand corner at the beginning but yeah i was i was like trying to watch his guitar part i'm like but i don't hear him playing and then i realized okay it's all coming together all that being said it's a cool chorus it's kind of like this laid back kind of kind of feel to it i don't have the let me i'm gonna look up the the lyrics here because i want to know what's happening here so i'm doing that can you break down the music a little bit what's going on yeah play that play, play that course again real quick it's just uh you can't hit play and type at the same time <laughs> you're asking too much hold on let me see if i can find I know. It. okay i got okay yeah i was having trouble hearing that second chord so yeah, it's a pretty simple chord progression. It's just, um, so the song is an A minor, so the first chord is an F major 7. It's got a C of some sort. I couldn't really tell if that was like a C major 7 or not, but then we got that E, which is a really cool chord. Back to the A minor. And then yeah. it's, It pretty much just loops that, but it's it really works. And I love it. You know, he's not... You know, in BTS, he's not like one of the singers per se, but when he does sing, I love his voice. Line, I yeah, it's... yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then to have that in dynamics against or in contrast, I said in dynamics doesn't make sense. Not really in contrast either, but complementary is the word I'm looking for. Yeah. With yes. his rapping uh, is great. And it's not like an intense, harsh rap, that, which is my favorite version of Augusti, uh Sugar, when he's got more of like the, the angry style. Um, I love that in his voice. But I got the lyrics pulled up. So the chorus is, to this day, I still miss and miss you. To this day, I'm still encircled by the memories of us together. Had I caught you that day? No, had I stopped you that day? To this day, would we still be friends? How would it be? Something, I don't know how loose that interpretation is, but it makes, obviously, if he was angry, that would be out of place. So, yeah, I mean, he's serving the song. So I, th I really think the guitar works for him because he's such a rock star. Like, he's just so cool. Oh, yeah. I've said this before. Absolutely. Like, he's the got the hair, hair, the vibe. He's just got this, like, I don't care attitude. It's, he's, he's definitely, like, I don't know. To me, he's the coolest member. Like, yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah. like, his vibe, you yeah. know? He's definitely a rock star for sure. He got yeah. So I want to go back to the lyrics for a second. There is just seemed like a cool moment, the second verse. Hey. Yeah, he's always got such a good flow. By the way, I've noticed that um, with this performance and uh, Jimin's performance, the baggy pants, are they back in? Richard, do you have to return all your skinny jeans now <laughs> because they're out of style? I promise you, I own no skinny jeans. <laughs> that is not my flow. Yeah, Richard and I's fashion philosophy is just keep it the same. Just somewhere in the just middle. Commit. And just ride that out for the just rest of commit. your life. <laughs> 
the you I used to know is gone and the me you used to know is gone. I know it's just beginning of time that we changed. It's not just because of time that we changed and I feel so empty. So I'm pretty sure that's where we were in that moment. It just kind of had like, I don't know, it's just kind of connected a little bit more, a little more emotionally spilling, if you if you will, which I thought was yeah. really cool. I wonder what Going he's referring to in this. I don't know if it's that, because they talk about, you know, that, you know, all the members and their solo stuff and the, you know, um, as a group, you know, there's the, the inner journey that if they're, they're famous taking them on, you right. know, and the transformation and the changes that have inevitably happened because, you know, how can it not? Um, so I don't know if he's talking about, it's like the person you knew is gone. It's like this, it could you be know. himself or, yeah. or or literally somebody else, you know, in more, in more of a literal translation of the lyric. If you guys know, yes, fill, us fill us in. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Every one of the members, obviously, Sugar, with no exception of this, in terms of like staying connected to the song and telling a story. But I don't think I've ever seen him pour his heart out in that. I mean, it's just at least visually. I mean, he's just like in in tears. He's exhausted. He's just like letting everything out in that moment, and that's scary to do on stage. I mean, you have to trust your audience. It just goes to show the the level of trust he has with army in that environment to be that vulnerable it's hard to do with a friend let alone a million you know i yeah. mean just to that degree just to like you know not even be able to finish a line or a word every once in a while because you're just so taken to let himself feel that it's just incredible yeah that, 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 i think that's why people just resonate so much with him they resonate with all the members in their own way but i think that this particular aspect with him is just this wearing your heart in the sleeve i think he's i think he struggles with some things you know like mm -hmm. maybe more so and I, I think he really um dives into that with his his themes musically his and lyrically so ah. he's he's so cool he's awesome well thank you for that recommendation great song and great just a different you know just another dimension of of who he is you know seeing that through his solo work is is great yeah and i love the guitar yeah it's just like cool to, they they find ways of just just little things here and there just to make it eat interesting. They keep it evolving. Yes. So tomorrow we continue to day five with V singing a song called Stigma. And it will be another live video because that's what we like as often as we can get. That is it for now. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.